Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kei. So uh, this is the 2nd of February on Wednesday. So uh, today I would like to talk about the exit timing because uh, I got these questions about the exit timing and how I exit every time I take trades, especially if the market goes backwards against my direction after the entry, you have to exit with a very small loss. And today, I would like to talk about this topic because uh, I thought this is important and this is one of the uh, most frequently asked questions. So, uh, this is a recorded video. This is not live stream because I have to go outside after this in about one hour. So, uh, I'm actually recording this video three hours before the usual live stream schedule. But uh, I hope you enjoy the contents until the end. So uh, let me switch the screen. Okay, and as usual, uh, before I start anything here, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, this content is all based on my own experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also, uh, this is a video session, but if you can make the comments clean, that will be great. So, uh, yeah, so after this, I have to go to uh, the bank and also post office because I have to renew my company trade license. And because I was down with the COVID for the last two weeks, three weeks, I, was, I have to do these paperwork. So uh, unfortunately, I can't do the live, but I hope you enjoy the video until the end. So, okay, so let me introduce uh, one screenshot from... Um, one of uh, the emails, and that is actually here. Okay, let me enlarge so that you can see in the bigger picture in case you access on mobile. Okay, so, so according to him, what he did was um, he took the entry sell here. He took the sell here at 0.7148. And initially, the market went down. And after the breakout of support, the market went downwards, and soon it went backwards. So he exited here. So this was his exit timing after seeing reverse in the wave. So he was seeing the bullish in the wave against the major direction, and also a trend line break. So um, there was a Descending trend line, as he, as he put the yellow line, it was a descending trend line and there was a three bounce. But uh, it has been rejected and the market broke the descending trend line also. So um, he exited here. And after this, the market went towards his direction continuously. So, um, but he wasn't able to trade because he already exited the trade here. So, what do you think about this trade? Uh, would you still keep holding your position when you when you see the market reverse up here, or would you also exit, or would you also exit earlier than this timing? What is your view? If you can, uh, if you have any ideas or opinions, please let me know on the comment box so that I can also uh, read your comments. But um, let me share what I think about this particular trade, especially the exit timing. Uh, and overall, I think this is good. This is a good risk management and good exit timing. So, uh, oh, but before starting to explain my own opinion, let me first introduce my KTS PDF. So, uh, I have this pdf for free for anyone who watches youtube so uh how you can get this pdf is you go to my website which is also on the down below the description you can uh, come to my website and hover over a free download and kts case training strategy and once you click this one up here then uh you can open the page like this and you can find the download button here. And this is where you can find uh, my free PDF that explains my own strategy called KTS. 
and this is the one. So um, in, in this PDF, I explain about the exit timing briefly. So um, let me explain that based on this PDF today. So uh, let me scroll down and the exit timing, I explain the slide was on the 13th page and that this is the exit timing before placing the break-even line. So um, I, I separate the exit timing in basically two different timings. So one is exit before placing the break-even. So that means um, you have to exit with a very small loss. This will be the loss exit. And the other exit timing will be the... Uh, after running some profit. So this is an exit to fix the profit. So technically, in my mind, there are two times for exit. And in this particular video, today's topic is about the first one, exit before placing the break-even and exit with a loss. So here I say, based on the counter signal breakout, for example, dead cross after gold cross of Skastix, price breakout of the trend line, Price going opposite direction after, for example, Bollinger Band squeeze, etc. Below example shows exit timing after stochastic dead cross and exit after the recent low breakout. So what this means was that the uh, you know uh, initially you took the trade by the gold, the gold, gold cross of stochastics. Let's say you take a buy when you confirm the gold cross, and afterwards initially. The market went upwards, but uh, soon you see dead cross. And at this stage, you can't set the break even line because you don't have enough running pips of profit. I will suggest you to have at least 30 pips of running profit to set the break even, or after you confirm the end wave towards your direction for the break even. But in this particular example, you didn't see either one. You didn't see the 30 pips run profit or you didn't see the end wave towards your direction but afterwards the market went backwards and also there was a dead cross this is what i mean by a counter signal the counter signal uh, against the entry and then this will be an exit timing and this is how i exit before i set the break even line with a very small loss and usually, this exit timing happens before the price hits the stop loss. So with that in mind, if you look at this, uh, oops, not this one, if you look at this uh, screenshot again, then what he did was, he took the sell here at the breakout. So overall downtrend, overall market was downtrending initially. And that's why he took a sell at this support line breakout. And he didn't show any stochastics or other indicators. So most likely, I think he only uh, took the sell after this support level breakout and also descending trend line rejections, which was also good. So after this entry, what I think in my head it will be the market goes towards my direction. Otherwise, I exit is a mindset. And also, this is also important. Not only that the market goes towards my direction, but also I expect the reverse end wave after my entry. So no market keeps going down, no market keeps going up on I wave. The market goes down or up on the end waves. And the end wave is a confirmation, really for the confirmation that the market goes towards that direction. So um, after this, the market went down bearish and it went down in terms of pips, this was down, it went down, let's say, you took the sell at 0.7148 and this support level here was around 0.714, I would say 0.7138 or somewhere. So this running pips is only 10 pips. This running pips in iWave was only 10 pips. Let me just write 10 pips. And 10 pips is too tight to set the break-even line. This is, I mean, too, too quick, uh, too early for the break-even. Because uh, I used to 
do this. I used to set the break-even line soon after the market goes towards, towards my direction like this in 10 pips or 15 pips. But if I do it, then I had too many break-even trades and I wasn't able to run profits enough. So after the market hit the break-even, then the market goes towards my direction. Oftentimes it happened like this. So I make sure to set the break-even line. Let's hold on. To set the break-even line um, before. Um, to set the break-even line, sorry, after the market goes towards my direction on reverse end wave or running 30 pips in I wave. So either in either case, I set the break-even line. So first of all, it was good that he didn't set the break-even on this particular trade because it was too early. So afterwards, what happened was the market went up and not only the market go, went upwards, but also it broke the descending trend line. It broke it and also, as you can see here, the market was on the bullish end wave against the major downtrend direction. So I would say that this was a nice exit timing. If he put the original stop loss here, that was the perfect exit timing. But uh, so now let me look into the stop loss. Um, let's say if you put the stop loss here, this price level was around here so that would be roughly about um, 0.7168 or so 0.7168 um, will be the stop loss if he puts it here for the stop loss and in between for the from the position to the stop loss that will be around uh, 20 pips of stop loss and which was reasonable usually i place a stop loss in between 15 to 35 pips in range so 20 pips stop loss is acceptable so if this were the case i would also place a stop loss above the neckline here it was reasonable 20 pips stop loss and the market went backwards so this was a perfect exit timing in my mind also and but in this particular case afterwards the market went bearish and it happens it happens on my trades also uh, after the exit the market goes towards my direction afterwards and if the, if it happens then i simply look for another selling edge but uh why the reason why i exit here is because um, the probability for the market to keep going up from here is relatively higher. So in this particular case, afterwards the market went down, but it could have gone up on bullish new waves continuously and hit the stop loss. And also the market keeps going up in this direction. If I see these two reverse confirmations, I can see that the probability for the market to reverse or the market to be in a range will be relatively higher so reasonably I would exit here on this particular case so I would say that that was a perfect exit timing in this particular trade uh, or if I place the Bollinger Band of Stochastics and if I let's say take the Stochastic Dead Cross confirmation here then where I exit will be if I see gold cross stochastic somewhere on this uptrend, then I will take that also as an exit timing. So, um, you know, the key for success is to keep the losses minimal. And I think this was a great example to keep the loss minimum. So originally, if I take the stop loss here, then I exit halfway through. If the market went back halfway through, usually I, I can capture the reverse confirmation and then I usually exit with a 1% drawdown. Because what I do is usually I put 
<laughs> I take a... Sorry, hold on. Excuse me. So uh, usually I take stop loss 2% risk to the stop loss. So that means if the market goes all the way up to stop loss, then I lose 2% of my all capital on my Forex account. But uh, if I exit in halfway through, then that will be 1% risk of loss. So usually I take in between 0.5 to 1% drawdown as I monitor the market until I see the break-even line and then I exit with a very small losses. So um, this is also my mindset is that the, uh, you know, I used to think about how to extend the profit as much as possible and also how to get the right entries so that I can make profits was my main topic when I was a newbie. But after some losing years, uh, I realized myself that I have to learn about the risk management. But not only that, I have to learn about how to exit correctly and how to become a non-losing trader, non-losing mindset. And as I think about it, I came up with the idea of looking for exit timing before the price hit the stop loss so that I can have a very small drawdowns so that future big profits can cover these previous small losses. So uh, usually uh, the pitfall for the traders is that, you know, they tend to take a uh, bigger, bigger risk and bigger loss. And then future profits cannot cover the previous losses and you gradually uh, decrease the amount of the capital. But uh, if you keep doing this, then actually that's a pathway for, uh, for bankrupt or pathway for uh, blowing up the account. So uh, what I suggest to you is that you always have to uh, keep the losses small. Keep the losses small, you have to exit at the early timing, but with a reasonable uh, uh, place, you have to exit so that you keep the breathing very small and so that once you recover and once you start to win profits, it can cover the previous small losses. So I thought this is a very uh, important topic to talk about. So today um, I introduced one of uh, my followers um, uh, screenshot about the exit timing. But uh, of course, this is not only one case. There are many, many exit timing cases. So uh, when I found another interesting email or another interesting market situations, then I will talk about another exit timing strategies. So hopefully you enjoyed the video until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button before you leave. That would be great. And I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe. And stay gold. Bye bye for now. Matane. Thank you.